Well, hello, 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 my pickles, my snowflakes, my no matter what club members, my turtles, and my Goldilocks. It's so nice to have you all here. I couldn't do this without you. You are my community. You are in my heart. I think of you all the time. So here we go. It's just another video, and we're aiming towards another year. Have you thought about it? It to me, it's S-S-D-Y, same, different year, right? It, it is. It's like, okay, so we protect ourselves. We eat the best we can. We work on moving forward in whatever seems to work for us. And, and we don't like, you know, beat ourselves up anymore. We forgive ourselves. We see that like this is like no other time we are into the like ninth month of this it's like the covid pregnancy isn't it and so yeah i mean you you hear my stories it's just daily what i do i um sometimes i begin my day with uber then move to uber eats and then move to instacart other days i just wait for the instacart Today, I'm going on the OJ run for Greg at the kind of far away market where they have the fresh squeezed. Hopefully, it's there and I will pick it up and then I will continue with my day. It's just a day no different from the other days, right? It just is getting colder and, you know, sometimes there's snow, sometimes there's sideways wind and rain. It's all the same. So I practice my own version of keto. Sometimes I picture what I eat and I do a video of what I eat in a day. I use my chronometer and my kitchen scale. I use my bathroom scale once a month and the kitchen scale and the chronometer are my friends. I'm veg heavy, which is funny after being carnivore heavy for like nine months. So I enjoy, um, having my splay, <laughs> display um, of all the veggies that I have in my life with, you know, a nice serving of protein. I practice OMAD. I eat between two and three each day. Today, I'm having an old favorite again. Um, I'm having my crack slaw made with organic broccoli slaw from Whole Foods with some grass-fed beef. And then to that, I add the sriracha, the sesame seed oil, the ghee, and some ginger. Yeah, ginger. And it's just this wonderful bowl that I low and slow heat back up. I'll have it with a side of my um, veggies, you know, the usual, the peppers, the cucumber, the celery. And I'll have a couple of ounces of Faye 0% plain yogurt with 10 grams of slivered almonds to kind of dunk the veggies into. And so it's a delightful meal. It takes a while. I eat my OMAD. I try to, you know, I eat slow. I mean, I don't try to eat slow, I eat slow. And then I do my dental hygiene to remind my body that you're done, girly, you're all done. And then, you know, I enjoy the rest of the day. It's a fast moving day for the most part until noon. I try to stay active. That That's when I consider my exercise with the bending, reaching, lifting, and carrying the bags. And that's it. Um, <laughs> so my friend took a yoga class and she said that there was a substitute teacher and, and basically what she had them do was 10 uh, deep knee bends. She said her her thighs were shaking the rest of the class. It's like she made it through 10. <laughs> I don't think I would. So here we are. We're doing our little snacky snack thing and um, enjoying enjoying the uh, what this team from Men's Health considers doing um, for good snacks. And so they review them. And, and I love it because they put the calories and the carbs and the sugars and things like that. And so it's really, they do a great job and they teach me new products that are out there or old products, just like the Instacart people. I see things I've never seen before 
and or had before and then I include them in my food plan and it's like, hey, that works. So the next one on our list is Stonyfield Daily Probiotics and it is blueberry pomegranate and this is a drinkable yogurt at offering a quick shot of gut, gut healthy bacteria and go, goes well with fruit, an apple, a banana, a peach or more blueberries. 92 milligrams is the bottle size, three grams of protein, 60 calories, 11 carbs, which is like the sugar, zero fiber and one gram of fat. And so I guess with my, um, my double culture, double cream, good culture cottage cheese, it's got the green foil on top for the double cream and the Faye 0% uh, Greek yogurt from one extreme to the other, right? I consider those are my um, probiotic entries for the day. I don't need the extra sugar from the Stonyfield, although it's a good product. I see tons of people ordering the Stonyfield um, baby um, yogurts. Maybe it's for the size. It's just a little size and maybe that's just enough and they get their their sugar fix or their probiotics. They just like it. It works. Maybe they've got little kids. This one is the drink. And um, so, yeah, I do put a lot of those in my cart for customers. Julie's, J-O-O-L-I-E-S, is organic medjool dates, and they're pitted. If you've got to enjoy one of these, if you've yet to enjoy one of these tasty fruits, um, it's time. That's what it says. They're deep and complex, almost like a good brandy. And for that reason, you only ever need one or two to feel satisfied. I don't think I've ever had them, or if I have, it's been decades since I've had one. Per two dates, which are 40 grams, one gram of protein, 110 grams, 110 calories, and then the next thing is always the carbs, right? 30, three grams of fiber, zero grams of fat. So those 30 grams of um, carbs is kind of like a daily allotment for me. So I won't be having these, although they do sound delicious. And I guess they'd get your need for sugar done in a natural organic way. So maybe they work that way. All right. We'll do, um, we'll do another one, loopy tahini lemon cranberry snack bar. I don't think I've ever seen these or purchased them. Um, if you're not a fan of too sweet snack bars, here's a change up. Loopy builds its bars with mild, creamy lupini beans. Interesting. And then instead of clobbering the taste of the beans with added sugars, turns up the tartness. Well, this, this could be a keto-friendly sort of thing. Loopy, L-U-P-I-A-I-I. -I. And it is tahini lemon cranberry. Per 50 gram bar, nine grams of protein, 190 calories, 21 carbs, eight of them are fiber, and seven grams, grams of fat. Some of you do net carbs, so that, that would kind of work because um, it would be it would be 14, it would be 13 carbs. And so that could fit into your day, seven grams of fat. It looks like it's a totally satisfying kind of little bar. So if a bar is something you have as a snack or part of your OMAD and it holds you over, well, why not, right? You know, we do things differently than perhaps we did before COVID. And so maybe the carbs work for us, right? The, the comfort of carbs is something I know I enjoy in vegetables and then a treat. It's just, it's just a different way of eating in this world where we can't count on much of anything anymore, right? So the next one is Lesser Evil Power Curl Spicy Salsa. Well, that's an intriguing treat. I guess I go into the natural food sections and that's where I see tons of snack type foods, but they're all keto friendly and um, carb friendly. 
and uh, they could work for you. You know, I have the OMAD, so it, it would have to be included in that day's um, choices. So lesser evil power curls, spicy salsa. That's right there. See it? Got it? Okay. And let's see what's in it. They're made with egg whites, which is kind of wacky, but they're a decent protein source as a result. The hot and garlicky, garlicky, garlicky flavor is what is what hits, though. For 14 curls, which is 28 grams, 6 grams of protein, 130 calories, 14 carbs, 0 fiber, and 5 grams of fat. So the protein is a good thing. They're GMO. They're not organic, but the spicy salt. So what a what a refreshing treat, right? You might, you know, I'm thinking of like crushing these and you know sautéing chicken in them on top of the stove and skillet. It's like a different version of breaded chicken, and then maybe on a salad, maybe on the side, but with that spicy, hot, garlicky. Um, flavor and seasoning sounds kind of tasty so I am going to stop um, the snack thing here I hope that um, all of you are doing well and you're looking at the new year I always look at the new year in September always have Labor Day is my New Year's Day but a lot of people still do the January and so a lot may be Clearing out all that Christmas junk that you may have partaken in. I say, so what? You know, at this point, you know, it, it, it's a pleasure <laughs> that, like, is still left. That's, that's how I feel, as most things have been stripped from us. And, and I think, I, I know that my soul and my personality and things like that have gone through changes, you know? It just, it changes you as a person to be kind of beaten into submission with everything and the mask and the we can't have fun and if you try to have fun you get looks how can you have fun in this time of our world I don't know it's crazy so I just do what I do I plan my nutrient rich um, meals I love the crunch of the veggies I love things like the you know the um, having the crack slaw today I look so forward to it it's been months since I've had it and so I just go along and do the do and enjoy what I'm doing. And I'm grateful for every day that I'm upright. Um, we haven't had too much ice yet. So that's always a blessing for somebody like me because with my back, I know that I'm, you know, one fall away from game over, game over, girly. And I don't want that to happen. So anyway, I thank you for being here. Do you have any change ups for the new year that you're thinking of implementing? Um, I'd love to hear what you're doing, your progress, and your intentions. Intentions are good. And if you say if you type them here in the comments, then you're kind of committing, right? Because you know that I know and other people that are reading your comments know. So that's an accountability thing, isn't it? Good for you. I'll see you the next time here on Pearls of Wisdom and Food with Keto. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.